It was built to be a squad support vehicle um, and support logistics, resupply missions, um, or just extended patrol missions. So like a three-day patrol where you might not have support from the company um, to carry your extra gear, your PPE, your you know, three days of supply. Several components that help it drive itself, um, and one being the LiDAR here on the front corner and the LiDAR on the back corner. Um, these emit lasers so and work a lot like a, a radar does, where it sends out sound and waits for it to bounce back. Um, and instead, this sends out light and waits for it to bounce back. And based on how long it took for it to come back and hit the sensor, um, it can tell how far away an object is. And it uses that to navigate around obstacles and humans and anything in the environment. There's two controllers. There's one that's a, a back packable man wearable. It's called the tactical robotic controller. Um, it has a hand controller that you can wear on your on your side pocket. It actually fits in your cargo pocket. You have a map view um, so you can see aerial imagery of the, your surroundings and you can drop waypoints on the map or you can just press one button on the controller and set it to follow me and the vehicle will follow you autonomously. Let's if you want to look in here all you have to do would be to hit that pause button so the vehicle would stop moving physically, jump in the driver's seat, and switch this toggle switch down to manual, and that's it. You're good to go. Thank you so much.